Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to another video. So at the beginning of the year, I did a little bit of a styling video, 22 outfits for 2022. And I mentioned that one of my New Year's resolutions was to do more styling videos. So we're back here today to do um, some more styling. And I have mixed it up a little bit because today we're going to be doing some scenario based outfits. My mom texted me some challenges to style around so we're going to get into the first challenge i'm going to go ahead and read it to you guys you have class but you need to go to a mixer for potential employers that are hosting an event for internships and you can't make it home to change okay come up with an outfit that can go from the classroom to a hiring event this is very relevant in my life right now so let's see what I can put together. This would be my classroom to job interview kind of look. Uh, New York Yankees hat because I'm always wearing a hat to class. I've got this sweater that I thrifted um, from a consignment store and then these Ann Taylor slacks and my 80s loafers. This is just a very chill easy college look and you're very comfortable for class. And then when it comes time to Go to my job interview i'll like take off my hat fix my hair of course and then i'll take off my sweater which will be thrown into you know my backpack or bag or whatever i have at the moment and then i'll throw on a blazer button it up of course and then this would be my job interview look i'm obsessed with these loafers and I think they're great for street style or um, like a more professional look because it has both navy blue, black, and white in the shoes. So that's where I have the flexibility to put on this navy pinstripe blazer and also my navy sweater earlier. A lot of people don't like the combination of blue and black but I'm obsessed with it. For me it's blue and black for the win. Job interview ready. Oh, and for a bag, I always feel like it looks professional when a woman um, comes in with a purse. So I would just wear this Kate Spade purse that my Aunt Becky got me for my graduation um, from high school a few years ago. I like wearing it backwards, um, but you can also wear it this way. And it just looks very professional and put together bag also has my initials on it so that's fun but yeah this would be my full job interview look Let's see what the next challenge is you were asked to attend an art exhibit for an artist that is focused on sustainability and only uses recycled items to produce their work come up with a chic outfit that will keep with the message of the artist okay i already know the perfect outfit for this be right back. This would be my art gallery look. I'm wearing full attire clothes and if you don't know, Attire is one of my favorite brands and they are the most sustainable um, company that produces clothes that I know of. Just every part of their production is so well thought out and all the materials that they source are natural. So there's no polyesters, no plastics, nothing of that sort. And I love their brand and the message. This is what I would wear to communicate that message of sustainability. I think it's pretty subtle. It might be a little bit underdressed for an art gallery opening. I'm not really sure though. The only experience I really have with art galleries is like watching Gossip Girl and seeing fancy rich people go to their events. This would probably be underdressed but this is very much my style for the shoes i'm wearing um, nodaletto bolo babies just so the heel can like kind of peek through a little bit and give me some height yeah here is what i would wear to an art gallery opening if you've been to an art gallery opening maybe you can let me know if this would pass the test or not okay next fit you are asked to attend an art exhibit for an art. Oh, I already read that one. You are asked on a date and will be having dinner at a new restaurant that wants its patrons to dress like classic Hollywood movie stars. Pull a look from your closet that makes you look red carpet ready. Okay, this is going to be a big yikes for me because 
I don't have anything in my wardrobe that I think classifies as Hollywood, but I'm going on a date, so apparently I need to try my best. As I imagined, I'm already having a hard time with this one. I feel like this dress is like kind of Hollywoodish. Whenever I think of a Hollywood movie star, I think of her in like a long silk or satin gown. This is the only like Hollywood-esque dress I have, but it's much too short for the situation. So I'm gonna see if I can come up with anything else. Okay, so when I look up old Hollywood movie star, these are like kind of the outfits that are coming up. And I don't have anything like that. So I'm gonna try to do this with more of a modern twist. I'm thinking I missed the mark on this one, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So the camera is not pointed down far enough. This is my best attempt at Hollywood glamour. I'm wearing a pair of velvet kitten heels that I thrifted. They match the velvet kind of furry look of this jacket, which I also thrifted. Underneath, I'm wearing this dress from Realization Par. It's the longest dress I own. I feel like the silhouette of it is right. If it was all black, I think the outfit would come together even better. I like the way the flowers though kind of tie into the theme of the butterfly and honestly this jacket and the clutch are perfect i think it's the dress that's making things the most questionable but this is what we have and this is what we're working with let's move on my giving glamour outfit four will be a challenge of the weather is always questionable, 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 doing, doing, why can't my English? The weather, the weather is always questionable during spring in New York. Ooh, New York. You are going sightseeing during the day and off to lunch and an early Broadway show in the afternoon. Rain is expected while sightseeing, but will be sunny by early afternoon. Okay. Come up with a fun and comfortable outfit that takes you from seeing the sights to the theater and will keep you dry when necessary. I have the perfect shoes for this outfit. You're being forewarned that this outfit is nothing fancy, but it is practical for the rain. So rainy day to a sunny day. This is what I would wear in the springtime because it can be a little bit cold, but then it can also get warm. It just depends, you know, on the day. So I'm wearing my rain boots from Ghani with a pair of wardrobe NYC leggings. They're more of a trousery legging so I feel like they would pass if you're trying to get into the theater. You don't look um, sloppy at all. I'm wearing this water resistant blazer kind of jacket that I thrifted which will keep me nice and dry and then underneath I'm wearing a what is this called? I'm wearing a underneath of my jacket. I'm wearing a John Elliott tank top because when it's sunny and it gets hot, you know, I'm not going to be discomforted. I really love this tank top because of the details around the um, outline of the tank. It just gives a nice little touch of something, something. Yeah, this is a very much. It's rainy today and I'm just trying to stay dry and survive. Thank you. Also, every time I go to Broadway, I could care less about what other people are wearing because I'm just watching the plays on stage, you know? So what, what does it matter what I'm wearing? No matter what you wear, you will be outshined by the people on stage. So I try too hard. Final look. This feels like a very LA kind of question now. You're going to yoga class and then meeting friends for brunch. Find an outfit that can go from a workout to eating out. Sounds like lunch with the girls, so that'll be pretty easy. So this would be my yoga to lunch look. I always forget to put the camera down so you guys can see the full fit. Okay. So. Obviously, 
This is what I would wear to yoga class. I've got some little tiny socks, which I can take on, take on, which I can take off or leave on. Some girlfriend collective workout shorts because I'm assuming it will be hot yoga and obvious reasons you don't want to be in a lot of clothes for that sweaty mess. And my sports bra is also girlfriend collective. Now, after class, get rid of these socks. Goodbye socks. You throw on a pair of slides. I'm wearing some knockoff Birkenstocks. I really need to buy the real deal because, well, I think they'd be worth it for the amount of times that I've worn these. And then just to cover up a little bit after, I would throw on my cardigan and you could do like a little off the shoulder moment, whatever you want. And this would be my yoga fit. Now I really want to work out and then go get lunch with the girls. Well, that was the final outfit challenge for the rest of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any feedback on my outfits, feel free. You know, there's definitely some work I need to do in terms of getting better at styling clothes. But I had fun filming this. But now, after like reading all these fun activities, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? I don't have any fun plans like this this weekend. So maybe I should do something to fix that. Speaking of weekends, I hope you all have a great one. And I will see you all in the next video.